Crystal meth, ice, it's a complicated drug with some complicated outcomes. Hello and welcome again to 3D Me. Today's presentation is about ice, about crystal meth and what happens to your body when you take that drug. It's about taking a look inside the human body through our 3D visualization and in particular have a look at what's happening to your brain. But more importantly, it's an attempt to provide you with a tool to help you understand what's happening so you can communicate more. Talk about it with your friends, with your family, with your teachers, with your doctor. We want to provide you with the tool so you can understand these, these drugs and what they do. And at the end of the day, we do that because we care. We care about what this drug is doing to you. We want to give you a tool to help inform your decisions. We thank you for your interest and as always, we welcome your input and your feedback because that's going to help us create better tools for you to use. Thank you and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now. Your body belongs to you. Street drugs. Everybody's heard of them. Parents and teachers warn against them. Some people use them. And some of us are still trying to figure out exactly what they are and what they do. Methamphetamine is known as speed, ice or crystal meth. This highly addictive substance gives users a rush by overstimulating key areas of the brain. Closely related to amphetamine, it affects the central nervous system even more powerfully, giving users a range of sensations, from heaps of energy and enthusiasm, through to feelings of severe anxiety and even suicide. Like any drug, how crystal meth will affect you depends on your size, weight and overall health status, as well as how much you take and whether you mix it with other drugs, such as alcohol. Even your surroundings play a part. A crowded party or a quiet room can affect your experience in different ways. You see, one of the big problems with crystal meth is that it is really addictive. In Australia, it is estimated there are about 73,000 dependent ice users. One in 10 become hooked after only one hit.